I finally got my modified air compressor supply line here done. It's uh, been a lot of trouble because I had a lot of leaks before the solenoid valve. So if I got leaks before the solenoid valve, what's the purpose, right? It's going to keep leaking out and it's going to run during the night and blah, blah, blah. So I kept fighting leaks. I wanted it to be leak free uh, going up to the solenoid valve. And there's, you know, a lot of fittings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know, eight, nine, ten, ten different joints where it could leak from. I didn't want to do it like this, but it's just the way it had to be. Anyway, uh, I changed stuff around. I tried to use as much copper as I could because copper seems to seal better against aluminum. You know, it just kind of forms itself. The threads form into the into the into shape and seals themselves up a little better. Anyway, I've tried everything: liquid Teflon, regular Teflon. I think regular Teflon works the best. So I got li liquid Teflon there. It's sealing up okay. But <coughs> anyway, changed a lot of things to get it to this point. It's pretty cool. So I got this one inch solenoid valve. I used one inch because I found out that the actual port size on a one inch is actually three quarter inch diameter inside. So I bought a one inch and necked it down to a three quarter inch so that I got full three quarter inch diameter all the way through here. And I got full three quarter inch going all through the shop, all the way to my sandblaster that needs three quarter inch all the way up, up, up to the sandblaster. Otherwise it just won't work right. I'm trying to get every bit of air I can to the sandblaster. So anyway, it's pretty cool. All this thing does now is when you hit, I got it plugged in here just to show, but you hit this switch, it, I got that power supply wired up to the solenoid valve. I turn it on, you hear it. It opens up the air to the shop. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run a extension cord down from my light circuit. You see all my lights are plugged along this conduit where I just put outlets everywhere where there's a string of lights. So I'm going to plug that power supply to my solenoid up to the light uh, box there. And then whenever I turn the lights on, solenoid valve opens and I have air in the shop. So I don't have to come over here and turn my valve on when I come in the workshop. I turn my lights on when I walk in the door. I got air. Also, I put lines outside the shop like in case I want to fill a tire or something. And I'd normally have to walk all the way inside the shop, come over here, turn the valve on, go back outside, use my air, fill up my tire, come back over here and turn the air back off or forget to turn it off. That's what happened most of the time. But now all I have to do is just reach inside the door, turn the light switch on, and then my air works outside. So that's it. Solenoid valve, and I, I did leave a backup in case I had a problem anywhere here. I still got a, a regular ball valve to turn everything off. But that's how it's going to be. Lights on, air on.